This surely does represent delirium. I know, right? Yeah, like I assume this might be a side effect of the pills and the alcohol, most likely. Could be. Could be. I don't like how I don't have my flashlight anymore. <laughs> it's so dark. Let's see, Bass Outgrid says I can give a hint, maybe. What do you think? Yeah, sure, if you want to give me a hint. I like hints. We've been streaming for like an hour? Yeah, I know, it feels much longer. It does, it feels much longer. Maybe it's because we started so late? Maybe. I guess it would be almost like 7.30, but... Yeah. So I guess it's kind of a good point. Cause yeah, we started, I think it was roughly about 20 after 6 by the time we got everything set up. If you go to the one place with the swinging lantern, can you look up? Maybe. There's some place to look up there, maybe? Because it, it definitely wants you to do something. Once, and this is also very different. Is there anything here? Oh, well, pictures are Pictures missing. So best I can say, do you have the right idea with the people in the bathroom? Do you notice anything different, though? Anything what? different with the people? There's blood on the wall. And... Guy's still looking at you. Yeah, he's looking at me again. Um, is there, is there anything in the bathtub? Maybe? Besides the lack of water? Because that would be the opposite of something being in there. Well, yeah. Or maybe, once again, in the sink? Because once again, the baby's not there. Oh, in the hallway. Mm. Is there people in the hallway now? Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Wait. They're showing you a lot of eyes. Mm. Would the people possibly actually be around here now? Well, see, that's what I was thinking, but based on where it is, it would be on this wall here, right? Well, you might need it to be flipped, maybe. So if we go continue to the bathroom again, over here, so that means it should be here, ish. Maybe. Maybe I gotta look at the people in this bathroom too. Oh, is the eye in this people, but not in the other, or the other one, but not in this people? Oh. Okay. Could there be anything else different in this bathroom then? Just checking to see. Maybe there's a picture in the hallway with an eye that's missing. That would make sense. Because it is showing us a lot of eyes. And other things. I don't know what some of the other things are, mind you, but... Yeah, I'm not really sure what those are supposed to be. Like, at first I thought one of them was maybe, like, a heart or something, because of the way it was beating, right? Like this, maybe? Yeah. But I'm not really sure what all of them are supposed to be. I don't like how it looks like it's rolling around in its socket. That's really creepy. <laughs> Wait, is there something to the left? Like, where the clock would be? Is there anything along here, maybe? Oh, okay, so it's still the same. Yeah, the thing, eye the over picture. where the picture was, though. So. I guess he got paranoid that all his pictures were watching him? Maybe. Hey, okay, best I guess is they're all eyes, so some of them just look weird. Oh. Maybe that's a closed eye, maybe. Maybe that's a closed eye. Oh, maybe. That would make sense. 
Is this supposed to be his eyes, like, as they move when he's in, like, deep sleep? Maybe. At least the closed ones, for sure. And maybe this is just his general paranoia because of the drugs? I can't even, like, really see where that one is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we have an idea. So one of these pictures must be... Okay, so... Yeah, there's still one on that one. It's hard to see, but... So these ones are just blinking. I would say they seem to be slowing down. Let's see, maybe we go in the bathroom again. Are you peeping in here? Because that one's not peeping. This one's not peeping. See, Bath Rocket says I can give you something more decisive if you want. Um, I'm okay with that if you are. Yeah, I am. Okay. I just know how you are with backseat gaming. Oh, well, no, I consider a hint a bit different, especially if it's asked for, right? That's Cause true. Because then you could just go, well, no, nah, no. Oh, thank there's. You. Is that supposed to be blood or is it something else? It looks different color. I mean, it was a fetus. I mean, that's true. It could just be dried up blood because it does kind of change to be darker. That really small lantern thing wasn't a lantern. You did look at it, but not close enough. So I remember that thing where I was like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, but probably just a lantern. I knew it was something else. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a lantern, though. Because, like, let me just see if I can find it again. That's not it. That's an eye boy. Well, I mean, that's not it, but the color in that one's a bit different. Yeah, where did we find it before? I'm pretty sure it was on the wall, like... There it is. No wait, that's the clock. It's here. Is that it? Oh, okay, that's it. Oh. That does look like a lantern though. Wait. Can you go up to it and hit any other buttons? What if you zoom in it now? Do you know that? That does look like a lantern. Is there another? Is there anything below it? I don't believe so, but I can't really see. That's interesting. I mean, it did like light up a bit now, so maybe if we continue, maybe something will change. Maybe. Because it wasn't white before. I'll keep my eye out and see if I could find another one. I mean, I guess that's true. If this is mirrored, then there could be another one on the other zone. Most likely. Cause... We got more of them. Yeah. Oh wait, it might be a different one now, but you know what you're looking for. Yeah, like, we, we can try and find it. Yeah, because I will say there there do seem like there are more. Let's go through the hallways a little bit slower so I don't miss any. There's a lot of eyes, okay? What about that lantern? That's true. Did that lantern do anything? Hmm. Really spooky. Just trying to see if there's anything up on those balconies. Let's 
tell if you're making I thought it was gone, okay? <laughs> I looked at it for a second, it looked like it was gone. I was gonna be like, oh! But that, it wasn't gone, and so I didn't say anything. So can we get anything ghost on toilet paper? You don't know that. Maybe they gotta go. So there's the lantern again. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any other ones. Okay, here, just look at this one real quick. And what happens if you, like, you turn around or something? No, uh, is there anything different over here? No? Because he is right, there are lanterns around that weren't here before. I don't know what a lantern would mean. It is different, it is a black hole. You think we should turn the gamma up a little bit more, maybe? It's possible we're just not seeing it because it's dark. I think so. Just gonna turn it up just a little bit. See, I think this is fine. Like it was really dark. Like it fair. was really hard to see anything, so it's a black hole, so is there anything like on the wall? I mean not that I can see. Hey Cooney, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? Hey, welcome to stream. PT play that pretty much, right? Leoma, is that how you say your name? Welcome to the stream. How you doing today, Brendo? Above fallen picture frame. There's a fallen picture frame somewhere. Oh, I didn't see a fallen one. Okay, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't turn up the brightness to certainly help. Cause yeah, like I don't know. Sometimes I can games... distinguish what's around me a little bit better. Well, yeah, right. Like I, I don't know. I I play by the rule of. You gotta be able to see the game, even if it's spooky and dark, right? Well, yeah, I just why I didn't want to adjust it, but then you said, "Oh no, don't don't adjust anything." So what? I, well, you were talking about not adjusting anything because you wanted to keep your sound and stuff right. What? When we started. What? That's what I don't remember. I don't remember anything like that at all. And why would that have to do with the the brightness? Well, because I was adjusting the brightness and stuff. I think you were talking about like the, the analog six being reversed and stuff, right? Oh yeah, well yeah, I was like, oh, I'll leave that in order. But I took that to mean the brightness too, so I didn't change that either. No, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> yeah. No, I only said to keep it normal because I know you have thing, um, things backwards. I was kind of making a semi-joke with that. I don't always do that. Honestly, it's been fun in this game. It, it just depends on the game. Bronte, you could turn up a little bit more too. I figured you would. Turn up one more. So it was a fallen picture for you. I did see one, but it didn't seem to do. Where was it? Anything? I. Because you got Because I assume they they would have been covering up like a hole. So if you looked at the picture frame, you did it wrong. If you well, if you just looked at the frame, you did it wrong. Oh, I definitely just looked at the frame. Yeah, then you did it wrong. <laughs> well, because Megan, it would have been falling off the wall, so it would have been covering something up on the wall. Shh. No, 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 Okay, it's past your bedtime. No, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yet. I'm kidding. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll look through this hall again. We'll find it. Where, well, do you remember where it was? Well, it was on my left side before. I just don't remember exactly where it is in here. Here. Okay, there you go. There it is. Visible. See, Megan, it's that easy. Oh. <laughs> See, now we're looking through the people. Oh, well, don't you gotta keep looking? Or are you forced out? Um. I think it was forced out? 
Maybe there's something in the bathroom now. No, we're going for still. Okay. But were you? I don't think so. I, I don't know. Yeah, I know. It seems like you need to actually watch this. Megan, so be patient. Well, no, I wasn't trying to leave. <laughs> I'm trying to look around while holding the stick down, and it's really hard for me to do. It is really hard, yeah. I agree. This must be when he murdered his wife. Maybe? Oh. Ah, there you go. No turning back now. Alright. Did he murder his wife in the bathroom? Oh, the fetus is there now. You got fired, so you oh. drowned your sorrows in booze. Hey, fetus. She had to get a part-time job working a grocery store cash register. Only reason she could earn a wage at all is the manager liked how oh. she looked in a skirt. You remember, right? I can look at the baby while it talks. That's rude. Ten months back. Right. Okay, so that's interesting. Thank you for all the help, by the way. Thank you. So I should have ended this loop then. Presumably. Presumably. Uh, that's what our Lord and Savior Shia LaBeouf meant when they said just do it. Oh. And all right. Hey, I don't know about that. That's not really a thing you should be just doing, is look at the peoples. Oh. This is... I mean, dude, every... Well, I've never seen a people in real life, mind you. Mm. What? What? What was that? <laughs> what was that? Was there something on the wall? <laughs> no, no, I just was listening to you. Oh. Yeah. I've never looked at peoples, but they seem like... Every single thing I've, I've associated like with a, a people kind of thing is like spooky, right? Because mm. peoples are really creepy, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, because someone made it to look through and to look at whatever is on the other side, right? That's creepy. It's creepy behavior. <laughs> I mean, killing a fruity like that was a nice set of priorities. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I kind of agree. Okay, we're getting out of the red spooky zone. I like yeah, that. Getting out of the loop. I I do like this. You know? I do like how, how puzzly it is. Because like, you have to look a few times. You're like, okay, well, clearly I'm doing something wrong here. Right? But it's not in the way that it's like, oh, well, you know, I thought I was supposed to be doing that. It's like, well, no, I'm doing something wrong. So you got to find out what's what you could do. Because I mentioned it before, where sometimes the game will just kind of repeat stuff and loop things, and it's like, well, you know, am I doing something wrong? But then, no, you're doing something right. In this case, it's like, well, yeah, you are doing something wrong, right? Which I like. I like that. Okay, thank God I got some light again. <laughs> Hmm. So there's no more added to the picture yet. I think you need to find... Oh. Did I do it? It did? Yeah, it did. Huh. I'm pretty sure last time we saw a lot in text, it was also here, too. I think so. Hmm. Okay. All right, well, now that it's not super dark, I'm just going to turn the brains down just a little bit. Okay, if you want. Oh. What was that? The camera just freaked out. Is there anything else in the picture? No. Here, pause again. Let's see if it does it again. No? Okay. Oh no, something is happening. Ooh. Clearly that number is important, even if they haven't explained why. Well, clearly there's something in there. Uh, I was like, do I go in the bathroom? Of course you do. It's dark, Megan. It's a new area. Kind of. Oh, that's really visible. I was going to say, is it a camera lens? Maybe it's not an eye. Maybe it's not. Maybe... Oh. What? 
You break your game, Megan? No, you break I, your system? I don't know. I'm heading there now. Oh. Saw it in English. I didn't see anything in English. I was too distracted. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, so I guess it's your turn again. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So was that like a straight up reset? Oh, your little sticker's coming off. Yeah, they don't stay on Super Bowl. What if I peel it? No! Hmm, that's interesting. Hey, JoJo. Welcome back to the stream. Hey, JoJo. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. So I'm going to pop on to say hello and happy Halloween. Can't stay, but have a great night. You have a great night, too. Yeah, Hope you have yourself an excellent night. Sorry, Megan. That's okay. Thanks for dropping by. What's that? Is that the fetus in a bag? That might actually be the fetus in a bag. What's that? I don't know. It started talking and then it skipped the text really fast. Said I walked, but something about nothing to walk or something. Or never yeah, to walk. I don't know. I didn't see that. Well, if it said it's on my it's on my way now or whatever, then uh, I'm probably in for not a very good time. Probably not. Not midnight anymore, though. All that picture is still. I like how the plant is sus now. So he's gonna try to lull me into a false sense of security. Cause then I'm gonna be like, oh, well, again, reset itself. But no, there's fetus in a bag, so clearly it didn't. Fetus here now, too. I would say we couldn't go in the bathroom this early last time, so. I really was a camera lens. I don't know, it did still look like an eye, though. No, no, just the way it. Okay, Never maybe there's more to the picture now. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, just the way it looked in there, it looked very mm. prominent that it was a camera. Was that a click I heard? Son of a bitch, Megan. It's midnight. Hooray. Nah. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, hello. Are you Lisa? I gotta walk to you, don't I? I was gonna say, she's slowly coming towards you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, that's such a, a chill up my spine, that did. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to be experiencing now then, huh? Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Is text on the wall again? I don't know if it's different. No, it's about the same. Okay. So this is where we loop now. Is this our next loop? This appears to be our next loop, yes. Wouldn't Midnight Strikes? Hmm. Midnight Strikes, we get a jump scare each time traveling? Hopefully not. Honestly, I like this build up in anticipation. Most games just have it with you, but it's used so sparingly. Yeah. I mean, they do a good job of it, because they keep it tense, but they don't, like, overuse its stuff. And they seem to be changing up what they're doing pretty much every time. Yeah, it's so true. It's so, so true. That's kind of the thing I've noticed about a lot of horror games, is that they'll, they'll scare you a couple times the first few times they do something. But then they don't change up the formula enough to the point where, oh, the next time it happens, you're expecting it, you're not as scared. Like, admittedly, Until Dawn is kind of bad for that because it's very formulaic and it's very easy to tell when it's going to do a jump scare. Yeah. Until Dawn do be like that. It do be. Oh, man. This kind of game I like, though. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna do some weird shit again. Get to see you. <laughs> I mean, it did give you a little save icon. Maybe it wanted you to pause. Wait, did it? Well, on the corner there, on the right side. You're right. 
It does that when you seem to go through a new loop after we get something. Maybe I just need to wait. Maybe. Ugh. I think they're dark. Uh. But until dawn, it is kind of excusable because it is playing into those tropes. But still, it's not supposed to be that scary, more story. I mean, yeah, that's true. Like, I don't, I wouldn't say it's bad for it, but I did notice past the first couple chapters of the game when I was playing it, it didn't really scare me. So. Just make a look at the game for me. <laughs> I can't look at the game for you. Yeah, you can. No. Yeah, you can. It's easy. So I can't play the game for you. How the hell do I get the other picture? I'm not sure. Ah, I can't look away. No, no. Uh. Such a suspenseful build-up. It really is so good. You sure you don't have the rest of the picture, baby? Is baby laughing at me now? Maybe. Baby's being an asshole. different to you? Maybe. No, I don't think so. I was looking at it, it looks like it had like little white spots in it. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's more messy, maybe. Blood. Maybe. Maybe. Hello. Oh, you're gone now. Oh, you I caught him. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. I find it kind of funny that it saves every single time I do this, though. It might be just trying to read a, like where you at the game when you like resume it, right? Because you can put the PS4 in rest mode. May maybe. That's probably all it is. It's probably just loading data from what is active, right? So after we finish this, we're going to delete it, right? No. No? You sure? Yeah, we're in one. No, we're going to want to play this again sometime. <laughs> I feel like it just make me too sad because I'll know it's it's never gonna be. <laughs> I mean, I suppose maybe one day I'll sell my PS4 and I can, uh, well, take advantage of the fact that it has PT. I mean, you'd make lots of money to be honest. Because why why aren't we selling these for like how much? I know I heard something about PS4s being sold PT on them. Uh, last time I looked at mind you, it was quite a long time ago. I think it would have been around like 2017, 2018. They were selling for about 500, 600 bucks. That's pretty good. So, I mean, considering the console at the time was retailing for, I think, about 300 or so. Yeah, PT was selling for a decent amount of money on its own because of the, the rarity. Probably sold for, like, thousands. I mean, granted, nowadays, maybe you could. Nowadays, it might, because it's been so much longer. Because, like I said, this was quite a long time ago when I was looking it up. So I'd be kind of curious. And technically, my PS4 is a special edition. It's the Destiny one. So... Not a lot of white PS4s out there. Ah, uh, something about this hallway I hate in particular. Yeah. You gave me a shit one to do, Megan. I <laughs> mean, and by shit I mean good. You gave me a good one to do. There's no people. That's true. So I feel like the bathroom is important. I mean, I feel like that has to be where he killed her, right? Probably. Leave this way. Uh, Bass Secrets on eBay. I'm seeing a couple low 600. I'm almost seeing around Holy double. Shit. That. You hear that? Yeah. What was it, though? Baby. Yeah. Baby. Uh, Bass Secrets says, You remember how you found the other picture scraps, right? No. I mean, <laughs> I feel like it was something to do with the plant. Because we looked at the plant as we came through, and then we saw, like, Latin text or something, and then a piece of the picture popped up. But I'm not really sure how to do that to get more of it. Unless we have to do it, like, maybe when we go back in the loop or do something else first. And yes. then... Yeah. See, what did cause it to happen? Because, like... That's what I thought it was. Because some... it happened twice and we got two different pieces of it, right? Yeah, but did we do anything specific, though? I don't know, because I was looking around here. And then I looked down at the plant. And then all of a sudden we saw a spooky text. Yeah, which is also what I did. I also looked down at the plant and it happened. Maybe it was just coincidental. It might have just been coincidental from the way we did it, yeah. So I, I'm sure we need to complete this. Oh, for sure. 
That's probably how you get the quote-unquote true ending of the game. Probably. Well, they are so hidden they around. There. So we've just been stumbling across them by accident. I mean, that makes sense. I'm just kind of thinking, like, where else we could look that we haven't looked at? Like, will they be down with the toilet paper under the sink there, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. No, okay. It's not just that, too. I am down for hints for this game, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, just, just for anybody wondering, this is one game where it's like, I, I will take hints. Just because, obviously, if I can, I want to do it before Megan has to pass out for the night. I'm sorry, I have to get up early for work, okay? But yeah, it would be nice to not spend all night trying to play the game, because here we still have to eat dinner and stuff, too. Yeah. So I am down for hints, by the way. If I can, I'd, I'd, like, honestly, I'd probably call it the true ending, to be honest. Well, yeah. That's probably when I would call it, uh, finished, I guess. So what the hell's up there? I don't know. I wonder about the architecture of this house. Yeah, I know, right? I forgot if they were required for the non-true ending. So I, wonder what the, I wonder how you um, get both the true and the untrue ending. So oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What did you do? I hit right stick. I, I clicked it. You zoomed in on the menu. I That's zoomed in clever. On the menu. What the hell? Huh. I did that by accident. <laughs> huh. There's one in the ceiling beam in the corner, huh? Yeah, I don't know. From what I remember, because we were... I was reading a little bit into this game. I didn't want to read too much because I didn't want to spoil it. No? But I guess there is an optional quest you can do with six fragments of the picture. Really? Yeah. Well, I think we have fragments then, eh? Well, geez. So, I assume we have at least a few of them. I don't know how many we would have. I assume at least three. Most likely. Oh, there's more. So yeah. now we probably got more. See, that's kind of a bullshit one. That's kind of bullshit, but it's clever. I mean, it is. Okay, we did get another piece. So, it looks like we have maybe two more. Maybe three, if they're small. But it's not required to get the true ending of the game, from what I understand. Do you know how you do get the true ending? Uh, there was a couple things, but again, I didn't read too closely because I didn't want to spoil it. Uh, one's on the stairs. Oh, that's true. We didn't look at the actual stairs, did we? I did go down there backwards. Yeah, but we didn't, like, fully look at the stairs. Oh, there could be something hiding there. There it is. Nice. Yeah, I keep seeing the Latin and all I can think of is that's you. The <laughs> requiesca. What is it? Requiesca in pace. It's like to, in pace or tin pace or something like that. Yeah. I don't even know what it means. It means something. Probably uh, means like. It basically just means to rest in peace. Uh, okay. Because he says that when he kills somebody. <laughs> yeah. Good job, it's you. <laughs> okay, so there's two more. <laughs> is that her eye weird? No. No, her eye's normal. Yeah, her eyes normal. Uh, Bass Arqua says, to be fair, this is supposed to be a huge puzzle. There's a diff- or there is a definite solution. Did you get the one on the ceiling beam? I- that one I don't know. Also, you need a mic. You need a mic. I'm not sure what you mean by that. <laughs> you need a mic? Turn it like this? Oh, there would be a mic in the controller, wouldn't there be? Yeah. I don't have one. Um, is that where you can we can Jerry rig one? <laughs> Probably not. I don't have a mic that doesn't plug in USB anymore, though. That's the thing. Let me think about this. Do I? I was not aware we'd have to be this well equipped. Where headset? Don't know if it's automatically there. No, mine never came with a headset, and I never played games online, so I never bought a headset. Ah, uh, Megan, you locked us out of the true ending. Well, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't spend the twenty five dollars. <laughs> You need a headset? Or is it just like, or uh, it's something that makes it easier? I assume the controller probably plays sounds to you if you need one. I don't know how much mm. they do that on the PS4. I don't remember them doing it a ton, but it was kind of a bit of a gimmick early on. 
Oh, we got a raid. Oh, we got a raid, baby rhino. Hey. Hey, baby rhino. Thank you very much for the raid. Right now, we're just uh, trying to figure out stuff with PT. Yeah. How did your stream go, friendo? Hopefully, your stream went well. Uh, hold on. It's plugged into the controller. Well, damn, we don't have one to plug into the controller, though. Hmm. Why is Why is my ad not popping up? Oh wait, because it's not. Uh, I keep. See, I keep typing it like like baby rhino, but it's the baby rhino. There you go. That should be that should be the shout out. Playing World of Horror. That sounds fun. Oh, I've never heard of that one. No, right, bye. What's that? What's what's that one about? Also, hello Raiders. This is a bit of a scuffed setup, so I apologize. Normally, I don't stream with Megan right beside me. Yeah. But she wanted to be here. Well, I don't know if she wanted to be, but she's here for this. Uh... I am here. <laughs> she is here. Hold on. I want to. I want to just see something. I want to see something real quick. Cause what like in, like could I? Hmm. Hold on. Give me give me just one sec. Give me just one sec. Okay. Give me just one sec. The illusion the is illusion. disappearing. I know. I know. I'm gonna turn this off. So the illusion. Uh, uh, give me one sec. Nice. Give me one sec. Uh, I'm, I'll still be in the room. I'll still be in the room. Oh, it's a heavy recommend. Ooh. Okay, hold on. See, we might have to look that one up later. <laughs> hold on, let me let me see here. Uh, Baby Rhino says it's a trip of a game. It's fine. Oh, it doesn't sound very fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. This fucking mold razor. That's it. Oh, maybe. This might work. That might work, yeah. We'll try that. Uh, Bass Acro says a roguelike horror game with a Junji, Junji Ito inspired art style. It's wonderful. Well, I do like Junji Ito. Hmm. I thought I'd have to use this again, so. <laughs> it's, all, it's tangled for days, guys. Tangled for days. You know, I wonder if that uh, World of Horror was the same game I saw from that Pumpkin Jack announcement with the crossover DLC. Oh, it might be. I don't quite remember, but they mentioned that there was some kind of costume or something you can get related to Pumpkin Jack in it, and I remember it being a roguelike horror game. Oh, that could be it then. So I'm not entirely sure, but it'd be cool Ugh. if it's the same one. Ugh, all right, fix the... Oops. <laughs> It's okay. Now it's my fault, Megan. It's not yours. Don't worry. Well, no, it's okay. I just want to make sure I'm far enough forward. Okay, fix the illusion. And whoa, bam. We're good. All right. Yes. <laughs> so I have this old razor headset. I don't know if it'll work, but it's worth trying. We'll give it a shot. Uh, Baby Rhino says, "But World of Horror is like a Junji Ito and HP Lovecraft love child in a roguelike game. First time uh -huh. playing it, I was having a blast. Nice." I don't. Know. And Bass Aqua says, there's the one in the corner ceiling beam. Did you get the one near the teddy bear? Oh, there's one near the teddy bear. I don't think we got that one. Do I need to, like, talk to someone? Do I need to talk to the spirit? Hello, spirit. Okay. Hello, spirit. So he said there's one in the corner by the ceiling beam. And there's one by the teddy bear. Spirit. There we go. Ah. Okay. <laughs> you practicing for whenever you stream Assassin's Creed? <laughs> yeah, one day. Let's see. So, what am I missing? Sorry. I was, I was really looking for heads. <laughs> uh, like Jinji Edo Age, Philip Craft, and Love Child in the Rogue Like Game. For some playing, was having a blast. I'm getting to watch the, watch the lot of that one. Getting the true endings in these games is such a pain in the ass. Oh, boy. Oh, I can imagine if it's a roguelike. Baby, do you have anything to say? Do I need to check to make sure the mic's working? What do I need to turn on in the settings? I have no idea. I've never used a mic on a PlayStation, so I'm not sure how it works. How do I, how do I check? This is making stuff. This isn't mine. Although one day I might steal it to maybe play like Injustice or something. I, I mean, you can always download that on yours. I know. <laughs> just, I would just have to put my information on there. Uh, so maybe it's the party. part? Probably in settings, right? Yeah, I guess it would be in like sound or device settings. Maybe devices? Audio devices? Probably. Uh, input device, headset connect, controller, microphone level. I mean, chat audio. So, this is, so it's probably good then. Looks like it's all good. It's probably good. <laughs> nice music swap. <laughs> I know, I get, yeah, I love the FF7 theme. It's I really thought it good. had the Persona theme on here, to be honest. 
kind of hoping I did because they're pretty cool. <laughs> I just haven't used my PS4 in a while because I play on my PS5. Is this start? Would this be technically me getting back into it? Uh, it should or would be I need to like do it's loading? You could just go in that way too. It doesn't matter. I don't okay. think. I don't know. Is that how you get back in? We we'll do that and this happens. Maybe you just hit the peace button again, or did that open this? Okay, maybe you guys start. Oh, there you oh, go. There you go. We're good. Okay, well, I assume if there's a spirit in the game, I'm talking to it right now. Well, it's pissed. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> the ceiling being between the foyer and the bathroom specifically. So it should be in this hallway. Like up somewhere here. Spirit? I know I'm pissing you off right now. Uh, Bass Acquisitions do the themes cost money. Most of them do. There was a couple free ones I got, like when Persona oh, 5 came out. Nice. Is that it? Yeah, it should be. So when Persona 5 came out, they gave out a free one on, I think, one of their release streams. Maybe. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Maybe we did find that one. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, most of them cost money. It's usually only a couple bucks. I have a couple that I got from my Japanese PSN account, because I had one... I pre-ordered the... 25th anniversary edition of Persona there 5. You there you go. So I got a special one from there. I don't know if that one's available on the NA stores or not. Because this was like a special edition of the game. Nice. So, is that it now? I mean, I assume if we did that, it's got to change something somewhere. But now that we've looked at it and interact with it again, we should see something change, probably. Maybe. Do I need to leave this area? I guess. Maybe just continue exploring. Spirit. Spirit. See, I like games. Yeah, I honestly like games that utilize microphones, right? They Some can games be pretty do it really fun. good. Like Alien Isolation does it. But it doesn't do it on the PC version, which is kind of ass. But it's also Isn't a good that, thing for that's me. It's like you just want to get a microphone on, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love it when games do stuff like that. Like, I still love how Until Dawn has. Uh, compatibility with the PlayStation camera where it will like record you as it does a jump scare. Is it easy to make it really cool? They are. I'm trying to think of other games that do. <laughs> I know a lot Maybe? of Nintendo DS games well, and I know in particular there was. I think it's Phantom Hourglass, where there's a certain puzzle where you have to close oh, the what DS. What the fuck was that? And open it back up. I just felt the controller vibrate. Oh. So I heard baby laugh again. My best I says, hold on. Wait, okay, I'm waiting. Hold on, I'll chill, I'll vibe. Uh, oh, what, it doesn't use that on the PC version? I mean, I heard it doesn't use that on the PC version, but then again, when I was playing it and streaming it, Alien was on my ass like all the time, so I'm thinking maybe it was. <laughs> Reacts to your mic sounds, I guess that's funny. Well, yeah, well, that's that was the thing, right? Is it would, um... Chase you more if it heard you? Yeah, like it could actually hear you talk, right? was supposed to be the idea. Ah, so I see how that's gonna go. When I play it, you're gonna try and make me talk a lot. Well, I don't know if it works on PC version, though, right? I don't know if it does. It might. Let's say it seemed like it was more on my ass. So I felt like it did, but I've heard it doesn't. You say Jareth? Jareth? Jareth. Are you around? That must be the kid's name. Hello, Jareth. Are you here? I feel like I've actually heard our own investigator. Jareth? <laughs> Is there a spirit here? Jareth, is there a spirit here, Jareth? Hello? Please, communicate with us. Jareth? Um, what was that? Was that a thing? Jareth? Are you here? I assume I don't go down the thing. I think I've heard the baby laugh twice. I believe is so. Is it the baby laugh? I know another game that uses the mic is a game called um, Are You Okay? Oh, yeah. Which is kind of like Mimi, spooky Michael Jackson zombie game. That's like legitimately spooky. That is a sentence I never thought I'd hear <laughs> in my life. <laughs> but okay, sure. But it, um, it, it like cures you and because it's a game based on sound, I guess. Oh, okay. He says you might need to investigate the phone or the radio. Probably Jareth? the radio. Jareth! Two zero six three. Two four zero eight six three. Two five. Good job. Two four zero eight six three. Jareth. I said it a lot. Okay. Two four zero eight six three. Jareth, are you here? 
If you're here, can you give me a sign? I was kind of expecting the radio to turn on there. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe we gotta loop through now. Do we? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Bass Accord seems pretty, pretty insistent that there's something here that we can do. I mean, maybe? I'm trying to think of like, what else we could interact with. Jerris? Maybe try going back to the picture? Or even investigating the clock here? There's a clock? Where? Well, the alarm clock, the oh, time. the alarm clock. It's midnight. Oh, dude, so, you know, there's actually this, uh, this game I saw on Twitter, which looks badass. Yeah. It's called, um, Paranormal, fuck, what's it called? Ooh. Fuck, it's called, um, oh, fuck. Hold on, I actually, I actually want to talk about this game, so let me, where's Steam? Where the hell's my Steam? <laughs> What's your Steam right now? There you go. Hold on. I actually want to talk about this game because it looks badass as hell. I want to show you the the trailer. It's Paranormal Tales. Ah, uh, okay. It's like this um wish list if you dare. It's like mm -hmm. this uh this game where it's literally found footage of the video game. Okay. <laughs> Which looks cool to me. I mean, I need, I need to show you the trailer. It look it looks great. Absolutely looks great. Everybody needs to look at Paranormal Tales so that when that comes out, it's getting streamed for sure. Yeah, uh, so Bass Aqua says maybe by the bathroom mirror it says those three spots, although it said to also hold still when your controller was vibrating. Oh, I felt it vibrate. Oh. But I didn't hold still. He says he's gonna check the video of the official solution. If I didn't hold still, did I get locked out? Better not have. I would hope not. Jareth? You in the mirror? This is this actually feels like a little spooky. <laughs> I'm like I'm talking to the game. This feels like the Bloody Mary <laughs> episode of South Park. Like like there's something really spooky about talking to the game. <laughs> Jerris? I can see why it took him three years to find this. Yeah. Alright. Tell, Tell me, me your, your secrets, secrets game. game. So it vibrated around here. We can see what happens again. Jairus? No, it's fine. Take your time. As you can tell by me just standing in place, I'm in no rush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. See, they need to do this more with games, dude. They really do. Yeah. Because, like I said, there is something really kind of creepy about even just talking to the game like this, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know what it is, but I think it makes it seem a lot more real. When you're trying to interact with the game as it hears you, right? I could see them doing a lot more of that if they were going to go into, like, different VR games. Especially if they were going to go into horror, right? Yeah. Because you'll feel more in the game if you have to talk to the game. I don't know if any of the VR headsets actually come with a microphone or not, though. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I could see <laughs> them having it, though. That'd be really cool. Dude, is it, like, honestly, a, a good concept, I think, would be um, having it be, well, like I said, like a paranormal investigator. Go into, like, a spooky house, and you gotta do, like, oh, if you're here, give me a sign. And then by saying that, something happens. Right? I think that's a good idea. I'm, I wouldn't be able to make that myself because I don't have the skills, but I think it's a good idea. I think it'd be interesting, but yeah, I don't think I would be creative or, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'd be creative enough to really make that work and actually make it compelling. Honestly, I just don't want to be asked to learn to code just to do that. <laughs> but, you know, just to make a concept for an idea that I wouldn't even know how to implement, like, at all, Yeah. Yeah, that's always the hardest part, is figuring out where to start with big projects like that. Like, honestly, I think if I were to start something like that, you start with a uh, spooky house, and then you try to make mm. sure you get your mic integration going, right? You know, I don't remember seeing the camera there under the lamp. See, I don't remember that either, but I guess I had to take this photo somehow. Well, yeah, it was probably there, but maybe it's just so dark we couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> maybe, that's possible. Because I thought there were pill bottles, I think. So the game's still really dark, too, and we have to brighten this up quite a bit now, so it's yeah, still really dark. It's like two from Max or something. Baby, is your name Jareth? Uh, maybe just try not moving until you feel vibrating. Okay. Looks like I did feel it once. I did feel it vibrate once. What if I need to, like, reset the... the 
thing. Would, it, would resetting the loop be a good idea? Maybe. Uh, baby Rhino says starting is the hardest part and keeping it going can re-trigger it after it was initially vibrating. What? I hope you can re-trigger it after it was initially vibrating. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I totally mixed two comments there. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I've done that too. Starting is the hardest part and keeping it from going has to be a habit, not different from streaming. Bass Accurate says, I don't know if you can re-trigger it after it was initially vibrating. Okay, so we might have to loop again. Maybe. <laughs> he just popped up at the same time, so I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, well, I will loop. And we'll just see what happens. Okay. Now, Jareth, are you here? It's not midnight anymore. Okay, so maybe we gotta go back, what was it, to the phone, the radio, and the mirror? Jareth, are you in this phone? This phone is very 80s. It is. You said that phone like that in mouse. I feel like we all would have at one point. Except for the early young people that, you know, wouldn't have had to live with that. So I know we had something like that, not quite like that. I remember seeing phones like that, like, at school, though. Jareth? Hello? Uh, I see you playing with your thing. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm almost strapping my phone, too. Gotta be careful. Jareth? Okay, that happened again. Jareth? You in the radio? Are you in the baby? Jeriff is the baby. I don't feel vibrating yet. But I don't like the sounds I'm hearing. Is that coming from the phone? Jeriff? Do you hear my dogs barking, Jeriff? <laughs> I assume the vibration I have to trigger. Again. That has, to be in the, that has to be able to happen again. Probably. Terrace? It's making out the one that's supposed to be quiet. I'm trying to keep an air for stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Okay, I felt it vibrate, but I don't know if that was because I was touching the door or not. It might have been because you were touching the door, but... It probably was. Most likely. I stay still anyway. I wonder if, I wonder if it means stay still then, like, don't move your camera either. It probably means just don't move at all. Okay. Let's see if it was a door. Okay, yeah, time was the door. Okay. <sighs> Jareth, did you kill this woman? This Lisa. It's so creepy, dude. Yeah, I know. Her smile is kind of like uncanny with the eyes. Yeah, the whole game itself is creepy. Not adjusting your camera either, so literally just don't move. Gotcha. Okay, so maybe now that you've been tracked with the picture, maybe you can do it now. Maybe. Who is Jareth, though? Maybe that is the name of the baby. Is either the name of the baby or is the name of the husband? Yeah. I hate all these sounds. Oh, hello. Oh. I see you there. Lisa, can you not? Lisa? Okay, good. She listened. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to actually do anything. Lisa, I'm not the one that killed you. It may have been Jareth, for all I know. Jareth was clearly someone important in your life. Please tell us more. Please tell us more.
Why am I liking this? Do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, because I feel like I shouldn't like this. I feel like I should actually find this rather boring, just walking in the same hallway. Like, back and forth, but there's something weirdly intriguing about this. Like, I mean, just waiting for something to happen. Yeah, admittedly, I, I wouldn't find this very entertaining if it was just me. That's probably why I stopped playing. Like, I find this really interesting. To be honest. Uh, so Bass Sacrifice is okay. The first now, again, because ten steps. Ten steps? What? I, I don't know, that's what he said. What's wrong with liking it? Because, like, it's all different things happening constantly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't I would say I wasn't counting my steps. I wasn't counting either, so I don't know. Here, the sound will vibrate. Yeah, it just seems like you need to... Wait. I don't know, I find this really cool. Was he? Oh, hello. Lisa, no! <laughs> I knew she was doing it! Don't bot me! <laughs> that time I was like, I'm determined to regret into you, Lisa. I will, I will be the one that scares you away. No, no, no. No, no, no. You're not gonna like Mortuary Assistant whenever I get you to play it. <laughs> no, I know I'm not. I'm not looking forward to it. The um, second left it happened, did it? I guess so, yeah. The Mortuary, it's so good though. Yeah, Mortuary is good. Yeah, no, Megan. Megan and her spooky things are, uh. I don't like spooky things. Sheriff? Now, now I've got to speak your name. Apparently. Jarris, where be you? Uh, so we just had to stay still. We should try that again. So now I should just not move at all? No, but I think we might have to reset. I think that's what he's saying. Once we hear the second laugh. Oh, when we hear the second laugh. Probably we did earlier. I don't remember what we did earlier, because we looked at the picture, and then we went to the phone, we went to the radio, and then we went to the mirror speaking Jeriff's name. Then I think that's when you felt the vibration, but I'm not sure, because I'm not holding the controller. Hmm. So we just need to wait for the second laugh? I guess so. Okay, so I, so I don't... If I say the thing and say Jareth, then. Jareth? Jareth. Jareth? I think it's Jareth. I think it's Jareth, but I also don't really know. I'm not being corrected, so I assume Jareth is the correct way in. Well, that's how he typed it out before, okay. Jareth? You might have to actually hit the R3 to zoom in. True. Jareth. You here? You in the photo? <laughs> Sure. That's so creepy. So that's the second left. Now if I just stay still. Yeah, I'm feeling the vibration. I was saying, I even see the controller moving. Oh, it's going so hard. Oh, there's something flickering on the screen. I'm not moving. Yeah, it's a third left. There's the phone. Do we have to go to the phone now? I'm gonna go to it. I say so you probably have to get to it at a certain time. Can Hello? I maybe zoom in on the phone? Hello? You've been chosen. Oh. Oh, okay, thank you. Was that the front door? Can we leave? <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the phone now, yep. Okay. Can I, road, I, I thought leave? for sure that was the front door. Do I leave now? Um... Or do I go through the loop? Like, was that an unlocking the way forward? Maybe. It might have changed the loop for the next one. Or was that unlocking the way back? Well, that's true. We could check the door on the back. Ah, oh, it's so creepy, though, dude. 
Like, if you just have to, like, stay still. Yeah. As it's vibrating, like, man. Wait, hold up. Game's done quick, it's in the way. I think we just leave it. Now it ends the loop. Okay. Okay. Man, that's crazy, dude. There's so much to look out for. And the thing is, you gotta stay in this hallway for a long time. Yeah. Alright, down the stairs. Uh, bye, Jareth. Thank you. Lights off. Lights off? No, there was a light above the stairs so that was off. Oh. Now it's really dark. Is he in? Maybe. Can you move? I don't know. It's dark. I can't see anything. Dad was such a drag. Every day he'd eat the same kind of food, dress the same, sit in front of the same kind of games. You know, like how he gives us the option for subtitles, but then it just uses it twice here. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. He couldn't even be original about the way he did it. Hmm. I'm not complaining. I was dying of boredom anyway. But guess what? I will be coming back, and I'm bringing my new toys with me. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, this must be the end. Probably. Silent Hill. In my darkest dreams, I see that town. Oh, do you now? I don't remember if that's the quote. I mean, it sounds good quote. if it's not. <laughs> Our special place. Man, if only. In another reality, we would have got this. Because it really is like a mashup of two of the greatest people that could work on Simon Hill. Yeah. And then of course, you know, Norman Reedus, right? Yeah. I feel like he would have been a good protagonist for it. Probably. Ah, it makes me so sad. See, I knew, this is, I knew the game would make me do this. It would make me sad at what could have been. Oh, this is the music from Silent Hill 2 as well, actually. That's kind of cool. <laughs> See? They're like, oh, nostalgia. Hit them with Silent Hill 2's music. I mean, they will always do that. But you know what? No Pyramid Head. Although in Silent <laughs> Hills. Is it Hill or Hills? Uh, Silent... Well, the game is called, was called Silent Hills, but the, the town is called Silent Hill. Oh, okay. We did get it. I'm very happy we got it. Me too. Game is a teaser, it's not a direct relation, whatever. Konami, you ruined it! Get out of here. You make Silent Hill 2 the remake good, then maybe I'll forgive you. I doubt it, but we'll see. I'm optimistic, but... I'm very yeah. cynical about it, to be honest. It looked good, but I also don't have anything to compare it to. I need to actually play it before it comes out. Uh, Big Random says, I was so excited for this game, but yeah, this happened. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I didn't even play PT, but I know I, well, like I said, I did watch this when it came out. I didn't remember anything about it. Um, oh, it's a having sex cockroach. Oh. Has to ask. But, yeah, it's it just... That would have been so good, man. It would have been so good. It's just such a disappointment. What's the one problem with playing this game? Is it, it now I'm disappointed? <laughs> Girl, Guillermo 2. Someone else 2, I remember, not just uh, Guillermo. And yeah, it stands for Playable Teaser. I actually forgot about that. That's Blooper Team's job. I can look at the Blooper Team video. So I'm like, yeah, sure. Ah. Uh, See, I really need to get Megan to play through the Silent Hill game sometime. Just so she can experience, like, the games. Although, good luck getting the true ending in a lot of them, the first your first try. There's a true ending? Yeah, Silent Hills are known for having, like, oh. what, five, six different endings in each of them? Oh. <laughs> but two of them are, like, the joke endings, generally. Uh. But I think... I, okay, so I, I I think well Silent Hill one especially Silent Hill one will be a bitch to get the true ending. Uh, that one's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Probably. Uh, 
But I know in, in, I think in two, it's really not that bad. I think there's one where it's like if you're really bad with your health, like with managing mm. it, and you stay low health most of the game, you get a, a bad ending. It's not bad, but it's like very melancholic. Mm, okay. But, yeah. See, I like when games do stuff like that, where it interacts with how you play the game in a not very transparent way. Yeah. Because you think, how many people are going to stay at low health for the entire game? Uh, people don't want to use health items. Exactly. <laughs> it's a very specific way to play the game, and I kind of like stuff like that. Yeah. No, it's honestly really cool. They, they do a good job. I just never liked how Dishonored did it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just like oh you have the lawful and the chaotic ending if you kill one person on a mission it's chaotic for that mission oh boy like you basically have to play essentially non-lethal to get the lawful ending that's gonna be me i guess i'm gonna need to try that i would recommend it because there's two different endings for it and i've heard the lawful one is much better i never got to that because i had fun blinking on people and killing them <laughs> <laughs> it's like game where you play the assassin come on yeah, the only, I, I will say, the only Silent Hill I really don't like for its multiple endings, at least out of the ones I played, four. And I like four. I've mentioned this numerous times, even today. I like four a lot. Yeah. But that's, yeah, that's a hot take. Not a lot of people do. I like four for what it is. But, uh, and this isn't a spoiler, not really. And honestly, anyone wants to play it, you're going to need to just understand this before you play it. About half of the game is an escort mission. Oh. And uh, you get the bad ending if the person you're escorting takes too much damage. So it's like, what was her name? Ashley from Resident Evil 4, but on steroids? Well, yeah. Because it's like, oh, Ashley dies, oh, game over. In this one, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to say much, but let's just say, uh, yeah, it's not too good. <laughs> Takes too much damage, it's like, oh, you know, but, but the thing is, you won't really know until you get to the end of the game, right? Because it's not like she'll die, and that's your bad ending. Mm. It's just like she'll take damage, and then that just affects something related to the ending. Okay. And how fast a certain thing will happen. That okay. gets you the bad ending. Oh, okay. And it's funny, because the last player I watch over the gun back in the day, because he would do Silent Hill, like, every October for Halloween. He would do, like, a Silent Hill playthrough. Okay. And he played for it, and he hates escort missions. And so he never, like, cared about her at all. Oh. And then he got to the end, and it's like, what the fuck? I didn't even get time to do anything. It's like, well, yeah, because you let her take too much damage. I think it's I think it's also a case of if you run, because, like, she can't keep up with you. I'm not going to say much, but she can't keep up with you. Mm. So she's, like, kind of hobbling along. Yeah. And if you run, the game sees it as, like, oh, well, you're not caring enough about her. <laughs> so, therefore, well, you know... You're getting, you're getting closer to bad ending by doing that, too. So, you know, it's it's a big mess, to be honest. <laughs> it's like Animal Crossing, where you can't run around over your plants because it ruins your grass and your plants. Oof. Man. <sighs> uh, it's a bad secret, but yeah, despite that vid, I'm still relatively hopeful to the remake because Blue Team's visuals are always nice. It's a remake, yeah. Like, I am, I'm hopeful. I just am opti- I'm, I'm like, I'm optimistic, but even then, I'm prepared. It to be bad. Well, that infamous German clip of Larry is a fear. Well, I know that with these like huge collaborations, there's got to be a tight leash, so it almost certainly won't happen. Yeah, no, I think it, I think it'll have a chance. I think it has a chance. Um. Yeah, I don't know I'm getting to play Silent Hill sometimes, so I can talk about these a little bit more. Yeah. But yeah, it's very because I don't want to spoil anything for Megan either, so I can't even really talk about it. Like regardless. No, Megan, you're fine. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That doesn't work anyway. <laughs> Don't believe what you see on TV. <laughs> so not the worst Discord mission out there, among other things, is an Earthworm Gym level. Yeah, I remember that Earthworm Gym level. Played oh. the game a lot as a kid. You have to escort something, but if you don't escort, it takes the escort. We're that, but, but, but. Oh. It, right? The escort hurts you and takes you back, yeah. So that's just like his little puppy companion. I don't remember the dog's name. So I never played Earthworm Gym. Well, I remember from the cartoon mostly, to be honest, because it's like he has a dog that like, like a little puppy kind of like kid companion mm -hmm. or something. But like when it gets injured or like really pissed off, it becomes like this monster. And I think in the the level, it it like hurts you. Uh. And you gotta like whip it to make it jump over stuff. So mean. Well, yeah, but sorry for him, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
So I guess that's my take on Silent Hill. And I like PT a lot. Honestly, playing this makes me even sadder. Because I, I see what could have been. Like, this was such a good idea and a good concept. Yeah. Like I said, even just walk and, and, and you know, this is why I keep bringing it up. That just walking around in the same hallway kept me engaged. Because that shouldn't happen. There's no way that should happen at all. Right? There's no way I should go in, like, this one single hallway. Talking into a mic. Right? Trying to get things to happen. You know, it should be entertaining. That shouldn't be. But it kept me engaged because I'm like, I feel like I'm. It, it feels right for some reason. You know, it's hard to explain. But. Well, it's yeah. good thing you still had your razor headset. I know, right? Good thing I still had this thing. Because, yeah, I haven't had a headset with, like, an actual, like, audio input in a long time. They're all USB these days. Yeah, well, I might need to keep this just in case for the future. I guess. Keep forgetting there was an N64 Earthworm Jim. Yeah, and I played that one too. <laughs> Big Earthworm Jim fan back in the day, believe it or not. You watch the cartoon all the time. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Megan, you're going to need to play through Mortuary Assistant for me sometime. I probably won't be on the stream, but I'll probably talk about it when it happens. You need to play through the Silent Hill games at some point for me. And I'll need to play through those on stream as well. Uh, preferably before the remake of 2 comes out, because boy, I'm going to want to play that. I mean, between this and the recordings and all of that, like, we might be playing spooky games until January. Yeah. I mean, I've already got November coming up. Uh, Mary Krampus coming up. I don't know what January would be if we go into January. <laughs> this break might happen. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, happy new spook. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, alright, so I guess that's it for PT then. So we're gonna delete this right off your system, right? No. You can do it right now. No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't even do it. Dude, if I, you know what? How close will you let me get to doing that? Hold on. Where do you delete games? Where do you delete games with this? No touch. <laughs> trying to delete my stuff. Hey, PS4, delete thing. PS4. Hello, can you talk to the PS4? No, you can't. I just wanted to show you the Persona theme. Okay, Megan's gonna show us her. Uh, she's gonna show off for us now. See, isn't that cool? That is. I got a few different character ones, but this one I think I got for the Royal Collector's Edition. Mm hmm. I want to see if I could see the one with the Japanese. I might not be able to put it on because I don't know if my Japanese account is technically on here properly. I just want to see. We must be the first person to play PT in a long time. Probably, right? Probably. It's really good. Oh, thing. there's a Dancing Starlight for P5 and P3 as well I got from the collections. So they gave out Yusuke and Ryuji. That's what it was. And then I think I have Anne, Joker, mm. and Morgana. But this was the one I got from the uh, collector's cool edition, one. I think. They all play different music. So this one's like Beneath the Mask. It's one of my favorite songs. It's very chill, very relaxed. I mean, it's, it's cool theme. I like the look of it too. Yeah, they're, they're all really cool. I didn't get all of them because there's one for like every character in the game plus like a one PlayStation. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Take screenshot. Take screenshot. That's not too loud. Cannot understand. Your voice might be too loud. PlayStation. Take screenshot. Fuck. You're too loud. <laughs> I don't. Even, I don't even know why I wanted to take a screenshot. I just wanted it to work. <laughs> PlayStation. Take screenshot. I fucking hate you, PlayStation. I hate you so much. I didn't much. realize it had voice commands. That's kind of cool. Wait, all commands. Doesn't like you. <laughs> Play, PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation. All commands. <laughs> All commands. I like how it's not even like, oh, I can't understand your voice. It's that, oh, you're too loud. Quiet down. <laughs> oh, you said flower. Apparently. Oh, apparently I said flower. All commands. Oh, that's kind of cool. You could do a lot of stuff with that. Yeah. Take screenshot. Didn't like me either. <laughs> you want to try it? No, it's okay. Yeah, just try it. No. Just try it. Have fun. I don't want to have fun. <laughs> PlayStation. Take screenshot. 
Well, it's you. <laughs> yeah, you can see the games right there, too. PlayStation. PlayStation. Start Neo. I just need to say Neo. Neo. On my video, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if I can get it to start a game. All right. Uh, PlayStation. Fury. Fury. That's not what I said, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy rain. Oh, now we're going to Twitch. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's not, very, it's not doing a very good job. It is not doing a very good job. <laughs> no microphone that you could use. What the hell are you talking about? I unplugged it. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a shame it doesn't work better. Yeah. Kind of. Because I, I think it'd be cool to just be like, Hey, I want to play CTR. And go, bam, CTR. Oops, I didn't go away. It's over here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's kind of funny. All right, we probably should call it here, though. Probably should call it here, yeah. Also, just because Megan's been talking for Sona, a little bit of background info on that. Yeah. I haven't actually played it in a little bit. I've been too busy trying to focus on spooky games. Yeah. So, I uh, I still have a lot being uploaded. To be fair, it's 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 still gonna be uploading for a long time, but uh, next time I play, see this is gonna be fun for anybody that like tries to keep tabs on the stuff. You'll probably hear me at some point say it's been a while since I've played, so I don't quite remember what's happening. That's gonna be after this. <laughs> yeah, so you'll kind of have an idea of how long it's been sitting. Yeah. And it's been most of the month because of Spooktober. Yeah, yeah, like literally, I think last time we played it would have been like what last month. Late last last month. Something like that. Oh yeah, I forgot the image changes if I go to the top. Oh, you know what? I should show you the until dawn theme. Yeah, please do. We actually were looking at this because we were looking about stuff until dawn, mostly about the DLC chapter. Yeah. But while we were doing that, we found out the until dawn theme is actually not available for download anymore for some reason. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there it is. I don't know why until dawn was working really strange honestly yeah it, it was working really weird like it's almost like they updated it oh, look at then, that that's cool dude yeah and then you got like this up here i think this one go down as well maybe not but yeah i kind of wish it would play some music it really is like really quiet and i like how it's like a giant hourglass yeah well there is like some sound coming from it there's a little bit it's very quiet though it's doing like the kind of uh music you'd get on the main menu i think probably such a good game was Until Dawn. It was a good game. I really liked this theme. I was using it for quite a long time, to be honest, when I was playing this. Oh, the lights turn on and off. I didn't know that. Which ones? On the house? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool, right? Some of the characters are changing spots. I assume uh, they're supposed to represent them dying. No. I want to see Emily disappear. Get her out of here. <laughs> Literally the worst. I was saying, because I'm pretty sure she's the silhouette on the right there. Yeah, like the that. post. yeah, that's her, right? Yeah, and the yeah. one on the very right is Jess. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, no, I think that was a pretty good stream. We had a lot of fun. That was. About two and a half hours. But what I expected. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. And yeah, we got to see Megan's cool themes. Got to find out that microphone can control PlayStation, apparently. Um, apparently. I wonder if it works on the PS5. It might. I mean, yeah, you can take the maybe, headset. Maybe you want it works to better. It. it might. It might work better. <laughs> and, uh, that was good, though. That was really good. I like tonight. Tonight was fun. Yeah. Yeah. It was good times. All right. I guess we'll see if we can raid out to someone. Don't go. Don't go look at my Twitter. Maybe my Twitter's cursed. It's a cursed Twitter. Uh. Yeah. So that's might be the only time I'll ever play PT. Not because of any reason other than I have no no need to play it anymore. Yeah, I don't feel like it's going to be a very good game to replay in the future. Yeah, but it was fun, though. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot more than I thought I would, to be honest. Yeah, well, I'm glad you Ooh, did. Ooh, Ronnie Farrow playing I'm Scared. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> <coughs> no, it's good to be. Oh. Uh, Jareth got me. Got me in my throat. Is also um trying to play Mortuary Assistant though. Mm, I don't know, Megan, what do you think? Uh, right now between these two. 
Maybe go with I'm scared? Because it's something different. You did stream more Truri Assistant. That is true. That is true. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll send it out to Ronnie Farrow because he is cool. He's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. Oh, he is. He's a cool dude. And well, I'm scared no. of the good game. I just saw the little quick buttons. I like how the raid one's like a little parachute. Yeah, that's, that's kind of funny. cool. <laughs> All right, so as always, friends, feel free to drop a... Raid. Raid. Not raid. 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 There you go. Feel free to drop a nice frag raid to Ronnie Farrow. But for now, I guess that is it for tonight for me and Megan. I do plan on streaming tomorrow, actually. Uh, to make up for the Friday I missed because of my busy or whatever. I was busy or something. I don't I thought remember. you had bad sleep. I don't remember what happened. It to was be something honest. like that. It was, it was either it was, I had a bad sleep. I was busy. I woke up late for some reason because I had a bad sleep. might have been my stomach too. It might have been my stomach. I've been having a lot of problems lately. <laughs> don't worry about it. All right. So thank you very much everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> Tomorrow there'll be some Resident Evil 3. But for now, I guess somebody cue the outro. I don't have that open, so hold on. Ooh, <laughs> you're slacking. I am. All right. All right. So, all right, for, the, for now, we cue the outro. All yeah. right. Bye, guys. Have a good night. All right. Very good. I'll catch you guys later.